the breeze feels good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. The breeze feels good. Yeah. I tell you. It feels good though because it's a warm wind. Yeah. A lot of people in the water, Jenny, today, I see. Let's see if we can zoom in. The water looks clean today, too. Can you see how blue it looks? Yeah, but I don't see people in the boat. I do. Not real far out, but close to shore, yes. close to the yeah. beach. I hear that's a race boat. Do you hear it? I hear the snore. Yeah, that's a what race. That? It's a, a boat, a, a speed boat. boat. Oh. Yeah. They make could, so much noise. Yeah, they're very loud. In fact, it's leaving a, a track in the water, a white track. I see some sailboats. A little further down the coast. Yeah. That's a pretty good umbrella. I like the color too. It's like a a dark blue and white. You know, one thing I've never talked to you about much are your travels that you took with your father when you were young. You know, that when you would go on the train yeah. in your private car. Yeah. Or even go by ship. Did no, we go. We always went on a train. So when you were living with your father in Germany, you never, you never went by sea. You always went by train throughout yeah. Europe. Yeah, well. And it even. I understand. So tell me about the different uh, countries you would go visit, travel with, when you were with well, your father. It's a slow rain. France. You went to France? Did yeah. you go all the way down to Italy too? Yeah. Yeah? What parts of Italy did you go by train? Uh, to uh, Italy. We could go to Italy, oh. to the Switzerland, yeah. to Bern or the Basel. So when you would go into these different countries, would you just travel through or would you stop at different stations oh yeah we have been and then spend the night or yeah. the day sightseeing or oh yeah so how how would that be would you would you sleep on the stay on the train or would you get off the train and go get a hotel somewhere or well, we usually have a sleeper in the train so you wouldn't you wouldn't get a hotel then you would just stay out on the yeah. train uh, but then get off and maybe go to a restaurant yeah. or walk around, yeah? Yeah. My papa explained that to me, that to me. Okay. Was it only you and your father or did only your... My, two, my father and me. So your stepmother, well that was even early on, your mother never went? Only you and your father would go traveling? Yeah, my mother was home. With, well I see. She wasn't interested, huh? No, she was very bad rheumatism. She Even was, early, early on, you mean then? Oh, she was very sick. Woman. She, she was always ill then, as long as yeah. far as long as you knew her. Yeah. Your whole life, the, the entire time she was living. She was not well. Oh. Once she had a mouse underneath her skirt, and she had to put her hand on my stomach, and I got it. And she carried me. Where did the mouse come from? Huh? Where, where did the mouse come from? Right in our apartment, probably. Oh. It snuck in. A German mouse, huh? So I don't know. I didn't ask them. <laughs> well, but it, he was living in Germany, so it was a German mouse. It was a German mouse. Oh, my. Did she scream? What'd you do? So what'd you do? I was in my mother's belly. Oh, you weren't even born yet. Yeah, and she had the left hand. So she tells you the story then. I had the, because I asked her, why do I have a hand on, on my belly? And then she explained to me. Huh. When she carried me. So she told I you said, the story afterwards. I, I said, where do you carry me? What do I know carry me? Right. You were too little to know. And I forget she what she passed away when when you were like what 10, 12, something uh, like that. 
when I went gone on 14. Okay. So you were a young lady then when she passed away. Yeah. So even when your father remarried your stepmother, she never went traveling on the train with you? Who? Your stepmother. After no. your father remarried. No, they, they went always by themselves. Oh, and by then you were probably traveling by yourself too. <laughs>